Well, the very next day, our official UTR Winapalooza study group boarded a luxury bus, boy, this thing is nice, headed up the old Mission Peninsula and deep into Michigan wine country for some ripe and ready research. I know this is gonna seem complicated, but I need all the white wine drinkers on this side of the bus. No, the, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, why don't we start off with a song? Uh, I'll sing it uh, first, and then you guys can follow in afterwards. Okay, you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Tip your glass and the wine goes down early in the morning. Everybody, the wheels on the truck go round and round, round and round, round and round. You tip your glass and the wine goes down early in the morning. I think they're ready. This is where I have to say that the drive up the old Mission Peninsula is absolutely breathtaking. You pass vineyard after vineyard with incredible panoramic hilltop views of both arms of Grand Traverse Bay. This just might be the most beautiful wine country in the entire world. Well, in no time at all, me and my 50 wine quaffing co-conspirators reached our first stop. But first, some last minute words of wisdom from our soon to be salamier. Just so you know, we take this seriously on Under the Radar. We drink no wine before it's time. So. Hold on. It's time. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! It's time. Bonobo Winery is a vineyard with a conscience, beautiful views, a creative crew, great food, and tons of tasty wine. Not to mention the fact that it's owned by national TV star Carter Osterhaus and his awesome brother Todd. Celebrity bonus. So, while my stalwart and steadfast study group debust and commenced to quaffing, I pulled up a glass with Carter and Todd. Okay, Mr. Clooney, let me start with you. Yes, no, right. I'm serious. You look like George Clooney's stunt double. Wait, slow hey. down. Hey, this easy. guy, you're just like, did you say his head just got like this big? Well, you're, and, you're a le- and you're a legitimate TV star. Yeah. How did you guys legitimate. get bit by the wine bug? You know, we weren't wine drinkers, but we... Uh, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> that should be your first clip. Um, but we were um, farmers at a basis. Yeah. and said, hey, how do we get involved in the wine industry, of course, yeah. but let's, you know, it's the farming aspect that really, I think, got us excited about everything, and then the hospitality. Right. You know, it's wine, we love wine, we're really involved in it now, of course, so many years later, but um, it's really the hospitality we looked at and the farming industry. So if you break it down, I, you know, we knew we wanted to have some ag out here on Old Mission Peninsula because we grew up out here. We worked in a lot of these farms when we were kids. You know, so it was like, what, you know, is it, is it cherries or is it grapes? And the idea was like, well, this vineyard is doing great. This winery is doing fantastic. Maybe this is what we should get into. That was real my mission. His is more hospitality. He loves chatting with people. He could talk to people all day long. That is his deal. He loves doing that, so it works out really well. I think because you're steeped in the area, you're steeped mm-hmm. in the culture, I think that's why it just seemed natural for you guys. Yeah, definitely. My first thought was like, why do people not on the West Coast know about wine in Michigan? And of course, this happens all day long, where I'm in LA and New York, and and I talk to people about wine from Michigan, and the Psalms say the same thing every time. They say, ah, I can't believe I didn't know that there was wine in Michigan. I can't believe nobody taught us about that. Michigan wine is has come so far. So far. Thanks to guys like you. Well, it used to be all sweet wine or fruit wine. Or hybrids, all hybrids. Yeah, and now people realize, and it's just education, what you can do with the land, what you can grow, and what you can turn that into. It's just about people getting better at their craft um, and understanding what the climate, what the land is giving you, and be able to put that in a bottle. And that's never gonna go away, you know, because people are always gonna think, wine from Michigan, come on. You know, I don't don't wanna have that, but when you have that process of, of the teaching moment, of the the learning, the, the the knowledge of it, and you taste the wine, it's that's the best thing you can do as a wine owner is get somebody's tune to change in one sitting. Plus, I've been to vineyards in France, in Italy, mm-hmm. to just the drive up here on the old Mission Peninsula yeah. to come out to these wineries. There's no more beautiful wine country in the world wow. than right here. Tom, I love that. But I'm serious. I love that. Well, no, you hear that quite a bit with yeah. the rolling hills and being able to see oh, the, both. the landscape and yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Well, another reason I gravitate towards this place because, I, well, you guys know, I've been here, this is like my fifth or sixth time here, is the philosophy of, and your, just the mindset 
that you've created here. I mean, explain why it's Bonobo. The name yeah. of the winery is Bonobo. You know, Bonobo came from, you know, the Bonobo, which is an ape, and it's the closest uh, in DNA structure to human beings. And, and I say we're similar to them in the sense that we would like to be like them because they don't fight for their territorial rights. Very, very social. social. Yeah. yeah very and, social. And, and a lot of people don't know about them, so when people say bonobo, it's kind of just a fun word to say, but at the same time, it's, it's something that we you know, achieve to be like. And, and you want to have, in bonobo, we have all these joint but separate seating areas where you can go with your significant other, your family, your friends, right. or you can meet somebody and say, hey, let's see. And you. have that conversation, because that's why you're out doing something, right? You want to have a conversation with someone you're with. Yeah, yeah. wine is life, it attracts yeah. people. Yeah. It's a place where you can care, share, mm -hmm. um, have a glass of wine. Makes you feel all warm inside. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. Right. And that that, that yeah. doesn't hurt. Yeah. You guys, and you guys even make champagne here. We the do. traditional way. Traditional way, yeah, you know, you know we let it, um, after it ferments, uh, we'll let it ferment in the bottle for another year, year and a half at least, um, creating some great bubbles, some great texture. Um, yeah, yeah, so you got those big turning yeah, machines yeah. down there and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's amazing. Well, we're fortunate to have you guys here. You guys could have gone anywhere. You know, and you're all over the place. You know, well, you turn on my TV. Mentally, you know, yeah, there's, yeah. there's Carter. Right there. <laughs> the, but the beauty of it is that I always say, look, Michigan, we have so many cool things. To, Michigan always has, if, if you get me next to somebody on a plane, I will talk about Michigan and Traverse City yes. and how awesome it is and how fun it is. People are like, Michigan, what? And, uh, and, and that's the best part about it because there are so many opportunities that you know, we, we haven't even been close to hitting the ceiling of where we're going in Michigan, what the opportunities we have in front of us, and whether it's the ag, whether it's the urban city and development, there's a lot of fun things and a lot of reason to be here. Well, this is so eye-opening. You walk into it and people are like, what, this is Traverse City, this is Michigan? I can't believe it. And where else can you go, hey, have you ever been to Bonobo Winery? It's right here. <laughs> right, right, that makes it so easy. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yep, at Bonobo we monkeyed around in more ways than one. We tasted some amazing fermented grape juice, learned tons about the region, and had more fun than a barrel of, well, wine. Have you ever seen a more beautiful view than they have here at Bonobo? Uh, no, no, really. And the wine makes it better? A, a lot better. You guys are Italian. Italians yeah. know wine. I love See, Italian wines. Too. What do you think of Michigan wines? Pretty good. It's good. Pretty good. What do you think of Bonobo wines? Bonobo. But that's where we are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is good. I, I wish I could get a little more. He wants some more. He is Italian. He wants more wine already. <laughs> is that your first glass, second glass, or third glass? Second glass? Second glass. I can do two. Your fault. Can you do three? I'm going to try. Look at that. Try that. Try and do that. I can, I can do three. <laughs> I can do Okay, yeah. He's, <laughs> you're on your third glass, then. I can tell. I can tell. If you're looking to experience what the French call terroir, Google it and then treat your taste buds by spending some time at Bonobo. These guys and this little guy will thank you for it. <laughs>